So we have plans to visit another of the new distribution centers on Microtech, but this time tackling an illegal mission. This would mean heading for one of the facilities that is hostile to incoming ships. And so I was heading down to a mining outpost to collect some dragonflies. Wheeled vehicles are behaving very strangely in PTU at the time of recording, so grav lamps would be our best option. For today's adventure, I was to be joined by Commander Fadinator and Mary Huskies, who were waiting back at Port Trestler for my return. I'm making a quick detour to pick up the dragonflies that we talked about. I can't wait till we can do that in the hangar. It's going to make such a difference to setting up to go out and do things. But on the way to the surface, I'd suffer a problem that I've seen a few times now in this PTU. Can't be certain, but I think I might be desyncing into the ground and just not seeing it like on screen because I just like suddenly took a ton of damage, even though I'm mid it, like I'm nowhere near the ground, but. <laughs> Come down real slow, just in case. Don't be on the muddy glass. We'd be bringing along two dragonflies, that is enough for the three of us to get where we needed to go. And soon enough I was ready to get airborne again, to return to Port Trastler to pick up my fellow aspiring criminals. Back at the station, the pads were quite busy with parked ships. I can move off if you want to get on here. No, you're good. Okay. I'll, I'll go next to the, um, the spirit there. Yeah. yeah. Like a glove. <laughs> one of them I couldn't get to switch off, yeah, so I just thought, okay, I'll risk it because it was doing like one of these <laughs> lag, lag spikes where like nothing was working. I was like, I just couldn't get it to turn off. So now we needed to check the mission to see where we were going. But that, I don't think that's the one we're looking for. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw it. Yeah, 3412. God damn it, the map. Oh, I could just search for it, can't I? Search locations. Okay. Yes. Three, four. Yeah, yeah. Quiet. Yeah, there we go. That was so much easier. <laughs> Almost <laughs> like we should have done that to begin with. It's in the oh, light side as well, yeah. Oh, okay, great. Murray Huskies had no ammo, but I brought a lot of gallon ammo with me. Oh, I've got, I've got like, I've got like 50 mags on me, so I'll just give you some. Just like all the snowman sitting in the middle, in the hallway. <laughs> the target location was on the day side of Microtech, so we were expecting just a leisurely flight down to the surface a safe distance away. So we've got, there is a ship there, it is a empty harbinger, so we're in the trespassing zone now, so I'm going to go slow to the ground. I don't want to go too quickly because of the... I've desynced into the ground on more than one occasion at the moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But once again, we take some inexplicable damage as we approach the surface. <laughs> oh, there we go. See? See? Oh. Oh. Look how high up we are right now. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. just going to gently bring us down because, yeah. Jesus. I felt that from back there. We I lost half the ship. Half the ship is missing. <laughs> ah, look at that. Next there we to go. Our half of the ship. Right. Oh, oh we're desyncing through the ground. Yeah. Oh. There's there's smoke on my console. <laughs> this ship is <laughs> it's basically. F okay. Who wants to drive and who wants to be a passenger? Uh, I don't mind driving. Good, good. That's the seems, spirit. The game seems to be running really nice, actually. Okay. Look, we did land right next to the broken off bit. Yeah. God. Murray Huskies would be riding with me. There we go. Come on the other side. Come on this side. Yeah, it might be easier. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 
go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that looks so weird. You're more and you just see the snowman. <laughs> the approach to the distribution centre was suspiciously free of obstacles. Well, at least it's a nice flat area. I know, right? Yeah. This is almost too flat. <laughs> I'm worried that we're going to get a pop in of like obstacles. D Sync would still have its moments though. Oh, oh my god, to me it just. <laughs> to me, you just went flying off of the, the bike. Oh, I love Mark Tech. It's my favourite planet. Yeah, I've tried them all. Like, the Pyro Planets are cool, but Mark Tech is still my favourite. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna find a ramp over here, I guess. And once we once we climb up onto this thing, we are in hostile territory. So get ready. Right. These things don't work on the ramps on the platform, by the way. They kind of like, well, uh, they didn't work before. Let me let's take a look. Yeah, see, they kind of they I, follow the yeah, ground. Yes. And it was time to try and share ammo with Murray Husky. Dropping now. God knows how 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 the laggy server will cope with this. But we just could not get dropping ammo to work on this server. We figured that he could grab weapons from dead enemy, so we continue on. I was still battling another enemy though, the keybind changes. Do you know one thing that's really, I haven't changed any of the keybinds yet, changing them back to what they were before. And the the fact they swapped crouch and prone around is really st oh, it's still driving me nuts. It catches me out. Yeah. <laughs> Now, to be clear, I have an imported keybind set from live, but the changes still apply to any key that I have not manually changed. And there are a lot of them. Suffice to say, you'll be seeing a lot of going prone in this video. This is so cool. Now, it was time for us to head into this new combat environment for us. There's a guard up there. Up where? Up ahead on the road? Up, up on the uh, gantry up here. Oh, there's some step. Oh, he's shot. Yeah, I'm taking shots. He is shooting at us. <laughs> oh, I'm still taking shots. Damn it. Oh, oh yeah, I, I see him. Oh, uh, I have actually got a med gun on me. So. No, I got I got a med pen. It's fine. Tier 3 chest. That's not, that's a problem, but. Uh, some med packs. Um, oh. Gun. Let's pick up the gun. Okay. Maori Husky still needed weapons and ammo, and as we advanced, we'd help him collect that. There's a dead guard up by Vadinator, and there's one ahead yeah, of um, me as well. Right. Crossing the road. Better cover over here. They engaged from a long way, as, a, a long way off now, as well, which was really good. So that, like, that was really cool. Yeah. But on this server, there were still plenty of instances of enemy that don't react at all. Oh. Holy, that's a lot of them. NPCs. Yeah, it's not, around this corner, there's a ton of NPCs. I think that's all of them. But if you come to where I'm at now, you will have. Uh, there will be ammo. <laughs> God, this loot screen is great, but it'll be useful if I could actually use it. Right, the loot screen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've I've had real trouble with that loot screen, the new loot screen. Yeah, it takes some getting used to, doesn't it? It just doesn't open a lot of the time. Like, oh, it shuts immediately. Um, as we looked for a good route forward, I spotted a ladder I thought could lead somewhere useful. I know it's a silly idea, but I'm gonna put some grenades. In. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh oh, 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 this, asking for oh, this looks bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do not climb that ladder because the getting off animation is the wrong side of the ladder. Oh, <laughs> it looks like you're gonna get up there and climb it to the platform, but you get off on the other side and fall back down, which um, isn't helpful. So instead, we continue following the road. Microsoft Web. It's really yeah. It's a reduced visibility. Not good. No one down. I can't see another one up there as well. Alright. Just behind you. Behind this box, there might be a, a deed. Yep. Oh, I can't even wipe my screen.
Yeah, the weather the weather isn't helping, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> not not great. <laughs> oh, 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 down below there. See, oh, no, now's your chance to test the grenade. Down below on the left, there's a bunch of them. There's like a crowd of them. If you are going to throw a grenade, don't let me know so I can just run away. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll give you plenty of <laughs> There's more round corner. Okay. Pop up the fence here. Okay, we're looking right at the moment. It's clear. Yeah, it looks, it looks clear. Oh, there's another guy. Same spot. Down. Good. Okay, it's clear. It's way more fun than a goddamn bunker mission, though, isn't it? You know, this is oh, way God, better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were getting closer into the facility itself. The environments here are very detailed, and there is a lot to explore and learn. I think really that is what we were here to experience more than anything. What combat is or could be like in these new locations. Oh, no, I know my last time at the ladders. As we'll come to see, the objective here was probably something we didn't need to push in for at all. I think, so I think we need to go back and uh, up the road to the, the level above us yeah. um, to get inside, yeah. So we need to hit this way, basically. Oh, hi, hi, on top of the box. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you okay. sneaky rat. <laughs> Give me up to some cover. It's more up ahead. Hang on. I see something. Okay. Yeah, you can find the box there. There could be another yeah. there could be another group of them on the corner up ahead as well. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Whether they're whether it's real. Ugh. Oh, taking hits. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Right, they're down. Good work. It was around this time that I noticed we didn't actually have an objective marker for the mission and that the objective itself seemed very similar to one that we'd seen in Pyro a few months ago. I'm not sure if that's true actually. The mission objective is to destroy liquid fuel tanks. I don't know what they look like, but ah. maybe it's the same no. as they looked in Pyro, I don't know. We decided to push in anyway because we were about to reach the entrances. Okay, I'm on the I'm on the ramp now. Yeah, I, I see anyone just, just yet. behind you. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna push up because there's no cover here, so push up and find some cover. Yeah. Found us some tug. Oh, someone I just heard I've a, a voice, but I didn't don't see them yet. I'm taking them out. Good. Okay, I'm pushing for, pushing over towards the entrance way. Oh, I got a bunch of workers over here. They got guns as well. Quite tough. They've, they've survived many a headshot. <laughs> yeah, I just, I come with it to lag. But server desync was about to get really bad for me, and I would be completely unable to reload the gallon. Yeah, okay, they're all down, good. I'm in trouble getting this weapon to reload. Even weapon switching was snapping back. Hmm. Lag is... Yeah, many a problem right now. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, I'm trying to reload. Eventually, I was able to pull a P4 and keep it in hand. That's clear. There's someone there. But now I'd be stuck with two weapons that I cannot reload. Yeah. I, I really wish they would fix that kind of snapping back that everything does in this game. Oop, there's a dude there. Oop, oop. Incoming fire from a side. 
just took fire from a corner from outside. Um, it didn't hit me, but I'm just stuck in a reloading lag. Yep, there's more corner fire coming in. <laughs> wow, that is a proper. I know, I'm just here trying to reload. What's the 22% first? I just realised. Oh, oh, I'm actually taking hits now. Okay. Now I assumed I had no sidearm because pressing one on my keyboard, the former keybind for pulling a sidearm was doing nothing. But using the new interaction wheel, I spotted the arc light. The arc light seems to be a bit more stable. We'll, we'll go with that. Okay, I think I got. I think I got them with the arc light. Oh my god. Yeah. I just opened the door with about six standing the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I'm moving. <clears throat> I did not expect that. Okay, they're all dead. Okay, now I'm in a better spot. Uh... <laughs> Sounds they make. <laughs> <laughs> actually lost your target. Oh, hello. Oh. Two more out here. Thirst was becoming a real problem now though, and I begin searching for something to drink. drink yeah, that, that's my highest priority actually, isn't it? Finding a drink. Now I didn't bring anything with me because the shops at the station were either missing drinks or trying to buy them simply wouldn't work in this build. Do you ever bring water? <laughs> no, t traditionally I not not I have not thought that far ahead, but I'm trying to improve it, but it's not going. Well, as you can see, it's not going great. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, see, for me the um. The open, the loot menu and the inventory, they just don't show up. They, they refuse to stay open. They kind of just close again immediately. I'm not going to be able to get a drink that way. I figured the only option here was to return to the station to use a med bed to restore my hydration. So I was heading back to the dragonflies. Right, I will come back for you guys, don't worry. Because we've got to complete yeah, this. Well, I'm gone, actually. See if you can find the, the fuel tanks to destroy. But I've got to get some... Yeah. Some fluid. The journey back to the ship was reminiscent of some other memory I have here on Microtech. And before long, I was right back at the heavily damaged MSR that we'd arrived in. Why is that making me... All I had to do now was beat the first clock back to the station. What's up here? What is that? Oh, I'm four. Okay, good. Ah, oh, some steps. And on arriving back, the very first thing I do was check again to see if drinks were available at the hot dog shop. Oh see if they've got anything in the shop yet. Over here. Still one guy here. Do not. They're, they're out of drinks. Wow, there's a lot of. Uh, I can just go to the clinic, can't I? The shop is still out of drinks, so I'm just going to go use the medical bed. I'm at 3%. <laughs> but, it doesn't matter because I made it. Not today. I guess while I'm here, I should heal my injuries as well because I do have some. On the way back in, we had more people joining us. By now, we'd figured this was like the mission we'd seen in Pyro, and so destroying the tanks was something one does with a ship. Options were being discussed. A1 Spirit? Yeah. A1 Spirit would be great. And bombs failed last time we tried blowing those kind of things up. Yeah, they did actually, yeah. The A2 bombs failed, yeah. I'm gonna take a very, very conservative flight pass. I'd be re-entering the area very carefully, both to avoid the ground desync again and to hopefully not get destroyed by the AA defences. But I was not fired on on this occasion. Very strange considering what we were here to do and definitely not what I had experienced the last time I tried to visit a hostile distribution centre. I think 
like these things down here, the tanks maybe. The real test would be where they would explode when attacked. Did that blow up? Coming in lower. Okay, I think these are the tanks, by the way. Ah, that yes. Oh, there it goes. Oh. That was a bit of aid. <laughs> now it was time to attack the others. Okay. Their mission had not completed yet, but there were more tanks out there. Oh, there are more. Uh, but at this point, all of the immediately apparent tanks had been destroyed and the mission was still not complete. We'd search around for a bit to try and find more of them, but with no objective markers still and no more tanks to be found, we figured this was just a bugged mission. Still, the combat at the distribution centre itself was fun, and when the AI becomes more reactive, I can imagine these being really awesome environments for missions like that. Not to mention the opportunity for player encounters out here as well. All very exciting possibilities for the patch to come. There are more missions set in the distribution centers and over the course of the PTU I am sure that we'll head in to try some more. As always I want to thank all of you on home for watching and all of our very generous patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people are what keep this channel going and I just want to thank each and every one of them for the support that they give every month so that we can keep putting videos like this one out on the channel. Thank you all. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.